Hello! Good day everyone! This is Ray Magtarayo, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant of the Magtarayo Canada Immigration Consultancy based here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I will be talking about the updates that was provided by our Honorable Minister of Immigration, Mark Miller, with regards to the international student pathway. Um, over the years, there has been an increase or a massive increase of international students coming here to Canada to study and get or use the international um, student pathway as an immigration pathway to bring their family and live and settle here in Canada as new immigrants. That is a very good program, especially if people are having difficulty in getting job offers from employers here in Canada. So, for you to understand what are the changes, please feel free to watch this video until the end. And also, if this is your first time to be watching my YouTube channel, I actually upload or regularly upload immigration content since I'm an immigration consultant here in Canada. I provide tips, gives advice on how people who dream to come to, um, to Canada um, help them to make their dreams a reality. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to put your questions in the comments section. Also, share my videos so more people who are interested to come to Canada would be able to see and watch my videos and learn from them. But before we talk about the changes, first, let's talk about what are the benefits of studying here in Canada. Of course, number one, Canada is very, very good education system, very advanced. And if you really want to grow on the field that you've chosen, I would definitely recommend you coming to Canada, learn and study here so that you would be able to have a better future in the field that you would like to pursue. Second, the tuition fees here in Canada are a lot, lot more affordable compared to other first world countries. Um, you could actually get, or you could actually get a university or a community college with a tuition of an average of 10,000 Canadian dollars or less for a year, which is really, really small compared to how other countries or how other universities in other first world countries are charging right now. Also, another benefit or advantage of coming here in Canada for studying is that you would be able to bring your family to come here with you while you're studying. Yes, that is right. So your spouse, the spouse of an international student can apply for an open work permit, which makes that person eligible to work here in Canada legally full-time and get as many jobs as they could, no limits, with the number of hours that they could work. Also, your children, if they would like to come with you, they could. They could also study in the public high school or elementary for free. They will be eligible for the health care, considering that they come with you as a dependent of an international student. And then another advantage that people or international students take advantage of is that most programs, after you finish them, you will be eligible for the PGWP or the post-graduation work permit. Basically, this allows the student to be able or to be allowed to work in the field that they studied depending on how long they studied in Canada. So the PGWP is very dependent on how long their program is. So for example, if they take an eight months study program, they could get an eight months PGWP. 
If a student takes a one-year program, then after they complete the program, they can get a one-year post-graduation work permit and can work for another year. And then if they take two years or more program, they are able or eligible to get a three years PGWP, which allows them to work in Canada legally for three years. So in total, if they study here for two years and work for three years, these people can actually stay in Canada for a total of five years, which makes their eligibility for permanent resident higher compared to the others. And now let's talk about the changes. Before, um, the proof of funds for international students, if they are applying by themselves, they are only required to show 10,000 Canadian dollars on top of their tuition, their airfare. So it's actually a lot, lot less. And because of that, there has been a lot of problems for international students. Um, some international students are complaining that they don't have enough money to support themselves. That is why effective the 1st of January, the minister actually increased the proof of funds from 10,000 Canadian dollars to 20,000 $635 for a single applicant. And as mentioned, that would also um, be, um, you would also need to add your tuition for a year and for your transportation, your airfare coming and going back um, to your home country. Also, Minister um, Miller also provided an update on three temporary policies affecting international students that were all set to expire at the end of 2023, including, first, the waiver on the 20-hour-per-week limit on the number of hours international students are allowed to work off campus. While class is in session, will be extended only until April 30, 2024. Therefore, international students already in Canada as well as applicants who have already submitted application for a study permit as of December 7, 2023, will be able to work off campus more than 20 hours per week until April 30th. But after that, we continue to examine options for this policy in the future, such as expanding off-campus hours work hours for international students to 30 hours per week while class is in session. But as mentioned, they're still studying it. The second change is that the facilitative measure that has allowed international students to count time spent studying online towards the length of a future PGWP or post-graduation work permit as long as it continues, less than 50% of the program of the study will continue to be in place for students who begin a study program before September 1st, 2024. And then lastly, in response to the labor market disruptions during pandemic and post-pandemic recovery, a temporary policy was introduced on three occasions to provide an additional 18th month um, work permit to post-graduation work permit um, to post-graduation work permit holders as their initial work permit was expiring. So now for nationals with a post-graduation work permit expiring up to December 31, 2023 will remain eligible to apply. However, this policy will no longer be extended further. So those are some of the updates that has been established or that will take effect January 1st, 2024. I hope that this information will help you with your future or plans to come and study here in Canada. Uh, my name is Ray Magtarayo, the Immigration Consultant of the Magtarayo Canada Immigration Consultancy. And if you have any questions, just type it in in our comment section down. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Ray Magtarayo. And also, please visit the, my other videos that I have, I have uploaded in the past. 
because they might also be helpful to you. Thank you and see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.